Team Lease, our Future of Work Award winner in 2021, has just come out with a report which says that India would need close to 30 million digitally skilled professionals to fulfill its workforce by 2026, which essentially means that 50% of the current workforce needs to upskill itself. In 2023 alone, we will see a shortfall of close to 2 million jobs in AI, in robotics, in AR and VR. Now, this is startling. It is worrying, but it is not surprising. We have been seeing and been commenting from the IET about how uh, the whole ecosystem is not gearing itself up to fulfill the skill gap. Whether it's the educational institutions or the industry, all think it is somebody else's or the other, other party's responsibility to fill this gap. Educational institutions com keep complaining about the fact that the industry does not give them the right kind of input in terms of what skills they need. Their inputs are short term, they are focused only on one year or specific skills which is they might require for a specific project but not long term. Uh, industry always says that higher education system does not provide them work ready professionals. So aside from the tech skills, the soft skills or the people skills seem to be missing. So therefore industry has to spend a huge amount of effort, money and time to get these people uh, work ready. In our opinion, it is not one parts, one segments problem. It's a composite problem. It's a problem which impacts all of us and the future of this country. Therefore, we all need to have to come together and work out this solution. The IED and its working groups have been creating roadmaps, have been talking about how this whole problem can be solved by creating uh, curriculum changes, by creating short-term courses, all of these will help to try to resolve this problem. But what is most important is for all of us to come together on a single platform and try to resolve this issue together. From starting from assessing the skill gap to then filling in the plugs, creating a roadmap as to how this skill gap will be taken care of. Now also remember, this is the current skill gap. As we progress, this skill gap, it's a moving target. It will keep changing. It will keep getting bigger if you don't take care of it. In this respect, the IED will bring out a predictive skill gap survey, which will demonstrate or try to show what the skill gap will be in the next three to four years. But again, as we say, it is all about coming together and working together to solve this problem. This is too humongous a problem to be solved by one agency alone.